Erica Ridley, and welcome to another historical romance unboxing. Today, we have a gift from Jessica Kale. Look at this adorable paper. I love the polka dots. They're so sparkly and glittery and awesome. Ribbon is a cute touch, an extra little tag here. Looks adorable. I cannot wait to open it and see what's inside. Let's read. Chapter one. Sally was there the day they hanged Claude Duval. It was madness in the January snow. The stands filled to capacity and creaking beneath the weight of too many bodies. Spectators filled the pit surrounding the gallows, shoulder to shoulder. The grounds were packed and still they let them in. The usual families with picnic baskets were disappointed at the lack of open ground on which to lunch. The vendors had sold out of hot potatoes and cakes and stood uselessly between the stalls, their hands in their pockets to protect their profits from the Tyburn blossoms, young pickpockets who could hear two pennies rub together at one hundred paces. Prostitutes of every age and disposition sauntered through the crowd, anticipating a very profitable day. At least a dozen apothecaries, sorcerers, and quacks waited at the base of the gallows, jars at the ready to collect pieces of the corpse. There was magic in a dead man's blood. Claude's execution was remarkable, not only for the falling snow that so seldom blanketed London, cold as it could be, but for the staggering number of ladies in attendance. The pit swarmed with them. From fashionable residences in Leicester Fields and St. James they came, traveling all the way to Tyburn in private coaches and hired hacks, sacrificing their silk shoes to stand in the muddy snow. They must have ruined ten thousand pairs among them. They chattered, happily, trading daring stories of times Claude had robbed them of their jewels, or better, some of them true, all of them embellished. They speculated as to how he was caught at long last, and bemoaned the loss of such a handsome face. Their fans churned their sighs and sent in a gale that assaulted Sally's senses with the smell of lilies and idleness. Why anyone would require a fan in January was beyond her. She pulled her ragged cloak close around her shoulders to fend off the wet chill of the morning. The ladies, their dresses no doubt ordered for just this occasion, pouted and postured in plush fur capes, their little hands encased in gloves and muffs of sable and mink, impervious to the punishing cold. Rounded cheeks flushed and eyes alight, they were quite breathless at the prospect of seeing Claude in person, deriving no little thrill from the knowledge that they were about to see him die. They gasped over copies of his last dying confession, so recently printed that the ink rubbed off on their gloves. Sally hated every one of them. Jessica also sent a Virtues Lady postcard, a dirty, sexy history sticker, cute, a little gift card from her to you, and a postcard from the Blue Stocking Bells, who support Malala's mission. Very cool. Thanks, Jessica! Thank you for watching Historical Romance Unboxing with Erica Ridley. More information about today's featured book can be found in the text accompanying this video, as well as on my website, ericaridley.com unboxing. To win a signed copy of today's featured book, as well as an autographed romance from my Rogues to Riches series, just leave a comment on this video within 24 hours and you're entered to win. Keep reading and see you next time!